Uh, hello to all my awesome YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. Curious on what I'm doing today. Basically, I have a product review for all of you today about my Canon uh, print doors. Basically, what's sitting over here. And I really do like this print door. It's very easy to use. Very understanding of how to change the ink on this uh, printer as well but here's the thing i am never going back to hp printers at all not anymore because i had so many issues with hp printers not a uh, good product at all because the problem is with hp printers is the heads always seem to die on them uh, basically but what i do like about this Canon printer is something that the HP printer does not actually have on the ink cartridges. A little LED light. It actually tells you if the ink needs to be changed. Now I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it has a little LED red light uh, basically right here. And I'll show you what it looks like on this printer as well. Well, what's nice about this printer, it can actual print uh, labels for CDs, DVDs, or even Blu-rays if you wanted to, uh, basically. And that is so freaking amazing, and it's freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and show you the tray. I think it's under this tray. I think. Yeah, here it is. That's so awesome. This is actual the... DVD label uh, maker printer uh, basically you can actual do uh, labels for your uh, DVD CDs or blue eyes basically that's what it looks like pretty cool and it does have a separate tray for photos and also a separate tray for paper kind of cool get to changing the ink on this Canon printer it is the MX922 model uh, basically this is a fax machine it does have a telephone jack on the back of this machine as well it also has a ethernet jack where you can actually hardwire to your ethernet if you wanted to with the ethernet cable it does also have USB if you want to connect it by USB but what's nice about this printer, it actually is wireless. You can actually connect it by wireless. It's pretty uh, nice. Uh, I like this printer a lot, uh, basically. But we're going to get into this in one minute. Let's talk about a couple of ARM features I like about this printer and my old uh, HP Novo couldn't do, uh, basically. It can print labels on actual DVD labels, not actual... DVDs themselves, but I can print the labels on the actual DVD. This is actual stickle, uh, basically. It's pretty cool. And here's one of me and my babe, basically. I just have a label on it. I just haven't got the actual photos on the uh, DVD uh, yet, uh, basically. But let's put that off to the side. Let's open up the lid. You can kind of see it does have a scanner as well. And under here, this is where your DVD uh, printing stuff will go. And you also need the software for this printer as well. Let's open up the little hatch. And once it's opening up, we'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Here is what it looks like on the inside of the actual uh, printer itself where the ink uh, goes, uh, basically. This actually uses five cuddles uses two blocks uh basically magenta little and also blue uh, basically now this is what one of the regular blocks look like this is not the xl uh basically do not touch the gold contacts on the bottom of your uh ink cartridges here because you'll mess them up 
Now to take this out is very simple. It has this little tab right here. Pops right out. And this is what it looks like. And there's that little uh, gold contacts I was talking about. Now of course, very simple. It has the instructions right here of how to take this stuff off. Pretty simple watch. Pull that off. Basically insert it, push down, and all the lights on. Close the lid, and it does its little clean and stuff. It's pretty awesome. And this actor does have a ink level on it. I'm going to show you that as well. It's pretty cool. Look at the top of this print door. Basically, you have all your different types of buttons and configurations you can actually use this printer for. I'm not using this printer as a fax machine. It does have a fax capability like your fax modem, fax, copy, uh, scan, menu. And there are these different arm buttons down here. It does things. It does have a dial tone uh, keypad right here. And it does have all these own different uh, buttons like print and cuddle. You can print and cuddle if you want to print in black. You can just do black alone without wasting your cuddle ink. Now it does have this over here where you can lift up. And if you do have a paper jam, you can just lift this uh, little latch up over here and get your paper unstuck. The only issue I have with this print tool is I wish you had a lid on this side or a cover on this side uh, to basically keep dust from going into it uh, basically but it's not a bad print tool but let's go ahead and go into your menu settings uh, basically but the one thing I always use on this print tool a lot is this here to check my ink level kind of see here's the ink level of my ink it's pretty cool I do like this function a lot and these are the different types of cartridges this uh, print tool can actually use uh, for printing uh, certain things and we got like many different uh, functions and stuff it's pretty awesome I for the very long video of the review of my Canon print door uh, basically when you're doing a review it's very hard to make the video small because you just want to go into much detail as possible if you can uh, basically but I did forget to mention one thing on this uh, print tool itself you kind of notice down below I don't know if you can see it but I can point it out to you it's actually a USB uh, basically built into the actual printer itself. We can take a flash drive. If you have a flash drive for photos, you can plug it into the printer instead of using your computer itself to print out photos. But the only downside with this printer, it doesn't have memory card readers on it, unfortunately. That's the only kind of downside with this printer. But that's okay because it's still a good printer, uh, basically. But let's talk about the ink. Yes. The ink, you can get standard or you can get XL uh, ink if you choose to do that. But this here, it's just the standard black ink. This is not the XL version. I always get the XL because the XL will actually last a little bit better than the actual standard ink, uh, basically. You kind of notice it's no XL on this at all. But with this older one, kind of notice, it does have the little XL symbol on it. Now, unfortunately, the way this actual works, you just take this off and you put it into the actual head, uh, basically. But here's what's unique about this. You can see you have this little cover. You don't twist it like HP does. You use this to pull up and you can pull this right off. And here's the ink pad. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but there is the ink pad right there. 
you could probably, if you wanted to, you could probably refill these ink cartridges if you wanted to. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not because you may actually, you know, ruin your print head on your printer, basically. But it's not bad little ink cartridges, basically. Pretty cool. But alright, uh, if you guys enjoy our spring new channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, play share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And have a very nice day. Catch you in the next one.